In this video, I'll review the ConnectWise Control Administration page. The Administration page includes eight tabs. The first tab is Overview. The page is composed of three sections. Using the Status Check, you can check your services and the external accessibility of the server. The Security Settings show which user sources you have enabled, how many internal users have two-factor authentication enabled, and the last time you revoked access to certain features in the product. The database plan displays how many maintenance plan actions are enabled and when they'll run. Next is the Extension tab. Both active and inactive extensions are displayed. Click on an Extensions menu to disable, uninstall, or edit the extension's settings. Click to browse the extension marketplace. From here, you can install new extensions or update an existing extension. Next is the Security tab. Here, you can add a new user source. Click under a source to show your users. You can create a new user or edit or delete an existing user. On the bottom of the security page, you can see your user roles. You can create a new role or edit, delete, or clone an existing role. Last, from the security page, you can directly revoke access to host passes, host session connections, or authentication sessions. Next is the database tab that displays the maintenance plan actions. You can create a new action or edit or delete an existing action. You can also change the maintenance plan schedule. Next, the mail page contains fields for configuring your email settings. The address will be used to send email invitations, triggers, extensions, and more. Click Edit Mail Configuration to change the address. Next is the Triggers page. Triggers are rules that can fire an action when a session event or session security event occurs. You can create new triggers or edit, delete, and clone existing triggers. You can also enable or disable triggers. Next, on the Appearance page, you can customize logos, icons, text strings, and more for the web interface and the client. The page is divided into two sections. First is Visual Theme, which changes the color scheme of the web interface. By default, the theme is solid. Next is the Resources. Resources control the web interface and client application, text strings, logos, icons, and more. Administrators can sort, filter, and search to quickly find the settings they need. Next, the Audit page allows you to view session activity or security activity during a specific time and date range. There are two types of auditing, basic and extended. Extended auditing is only available for select cloud packages. It includes session videos that can be downloaded from the audit page. Input a time range. You can optionally input a session name or choose to include session captures. Select session event filters and security event filters. Click Query Audit Log. You can download recordings by clicking the Download Video link. That's it for the ConnectWise Control Administration Page Overview. For more information, see our documentation at connectwise.com slash control docs. Thanks.